On Ella's hair, I'm going to show you the thing that everybody always wants to know. How we can get volume into the hair, how we can get movement, big, soft, open curls, and just show you how quick and easy that is. We're going to prep Ella's hair with electric smoothing cream. The great thing about this product is it's light, it evaporates on the hair, and it completely disappears. It's very important when you're trying to get volume into hair that you don't use a product that's too heavy. So we're just putting that all the way through. It's going to do a great job of smoothing the hair down, but it isn't going to be heavy on the hair at all. I'm just going to put that through right from the roots through to the mid lengths and the ends, and that'll just help me get a great finish. So using the head hugger brush, I'm just blow drying the hair around the brush, making sure that I get plenty of volume at the roots. Once the hair is dry, let it cool down around the brush and then just gently release it from the brush, letting the hair fall into a textured curl. Okay, so I'm now putting the head hugger around the hair. I'm using the roundness of the brush just to get all the volume in at the roots. I'm wrapping it round that brush so I get a really smooth finish. Once I've heated it up, it's very important to let it cool down around the brush. Once it's cooled down, I just gently release the section from the hair and I let it set into place. When you're using a round brush, it's very important that this bit is ceramic and not metal and then it just protects the hair a little bit from the heat. Also, with a head hugger, it's concave, so it really grips the hair better and it just creates a more finished, polished look. So now we've finished blow drying, the hair is just left in its sections that, where the hair has left the brush. We're now going to take a wide toothbrush and we're just going to brush through the hair just to release it and create a nice, soft, open curl. Well, more of a wave than a curl, really. So we're just brushing through the hair. We can take the hair any way we want. We can wear it from the side. We can put it in the middle. I think at this point, it's just nice to see where the hair sits around the face. You can do this yourself in the mirror at home and just push the hair around into a shape you like. But there you have a look that's very easy to create, very quick to finish, and looks amazing. Okay, so we've finished brushing the hair with our bristle brush, and we're now just placing the hair into the shape that we want it to be in. We want the curls to feel very natural and move around. And this is a look you can easily create at home, and a look that you can use for going out. It just feels very current and full of movement. A really good tip to get curls separating and feeling really good, just take a little bit of serum. If you're using a serum, it's important to use one that's not heavy, not oily. This electric dry serum is perfect. You can rub it into your hands and it really feels like you haven't got any sort of sticky product on there. And just work it into the hair. And it just separates those curls and gives some real definition. There we are. Fantastic. 